Hello there, and welcome back to my channel. I am the only Ielsa, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about imposter syndrome. This is a little bit of a heavier subject than anything I've done on my channel before. I'm going to try not to edit this too much, but I will be taking out all the ums and ands and buts and stuff like that because it just takes up time. <laughs> but anyway, I really wanted to talk about this because Yesterday was the first day that I missed a video on my month challenge. Now, we're all human, we all make mistakes, and I have no doubt in my mind that literally nobody cares that I missed a day <laughs> of my challenge. However, I have always been super hard on myself when I make a mistake. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that I don't believe in myself. It has taken me a long time, and especially with this challenge and with this channel, with what I want to do with my life, the more and more I think about what I want, the more and more I feel like I don't deserve it or I don't have the skills to get there. And it's a difficult journey. It's a battle in my mind uh, of good and evil. <laughs> and it's draining and distracting and sad, but the reality of my situation so I guess I just want to go into this explaining what imposter syndrome is. I guess I could say the definition technically. Hold on my phone. Imposter syndrome, also known as imposter phenomenon, is a psychological pattern in which an individual doubts their skills, talents, or accomplishments and has a persistent internalized fear of being exposed as a fraud. Now, I haven't even achieved my ultimate goal, which is to make a career on YouTube or just be self-employed in general in any aspect I want you know I want to I want to be happy and self-sufficient in my own life I haven't even gotten there yet and I already feel like I'm never gonna make it and that's just a part of my brain that I feel like who am I to want this who am I to achieve something like this because it's something that I've always seen other people have and I've never felt like I could get there because yeah like who am I to <laughs> to have anything that I want I guess or to be some form of celebrity see this is the thing I wanted to start YouTube to do things for myself that you know vlogging experiences challenges mostly traveling because that's what I love to do obviously right now with the pandemic it's a little bit difficult but those are the things that I've always wanted to put on a channel and make a career out of along with my experiences in life because I feel like I have a lot of really I mean awful and great things that have happened in my life like it happens in every life life is full of awful and great things and I've always wanted to share that because I feel like more people need to see the awful um, it's not as you know shown for a lot of good reasons even when I see some things that could trigger me it's a little bit alarming and makes me uncomfortable but at the same time I know that it needs to be seen with that being my goal and trying to fill this void that I've seen in social media and YouTube you know exposing things that are difficult to talk about and difficult to see I also feel like it's not my place and that makes no sense because I like many other people have lived through traumatic things and have experience in things that other people want to know about and deserve to know about and want to learn about. Uh, now, <laughs> saying all of this is really difficult for me because, again, I'm, I'm insecure in my ability to deliver this information properly. And leaning back to me um, skipping a day yesterday I just, I, I, you know, time management, I messed up a little bit and, and couldn't get a video out and that in other times would have torn me down fully and just like brought me to the ground showing me, look, you didn't do it, you're not good enough. And it's just me telling myself that. Nobody else is telling me that. It's all in my own head. And that is part of imposter syndrome, feeling like you just aren't good enough. But you're the only one telling yourself that because nobody else in the world that truly cares about you or wants to see what you're doing would ever say something like that, you know? So it's just such a difficult thing to deal with not feeling like you deserve to be in a space that you want to be in. It's hard living with this doubt 
constantly, especially when putting myself out there in a way that I've never done before. But I, I truly am proud. <laughs> That's bananas. <laughs> See, even saying that word is so hard for me, but I am <laughs> proud. <laughs> it's so hard to be able to do what I'm doing. And even like the past 14 days that I actually did post a video every single day, I've never done that before in my life. And that's something that's amazing i have accomplished something and that's insane i've never done anything like that and i should celebrate it because even though i set up this challenge to you know post a video every single day in march i am the only one holding the standard and although i am a little bit of a perfectionist and i do expect myself to live up to a standard when i don't meet that standard i am so hard on myself and just drop everything but here I am, not dropping it, still recording a video to post today because I'm posting two videos today. And that is a little bit ambitious because I'm recording, editing, and posting them all today. But I know that I can do it. And I think that the hardest part of all of this is telling myself that I can't when I know that I can. Because if I just do it, it'll be done. <laughs> and I have you know, the equipment, the skills, the time to get it done. So the only excuse that I can give myself is that I don't deserve it or that I'm not good enough. And all those insecurities that keep bubbling up in my head need to be nipped out. <laughs> so this is something that I really wanted to share because it's difficult to share this part of yourself. And I know I don't owe anybody an explanation for, you know, missing the video yesterday. It doesn't even matter. It's so beyond the point. The point is that I'm getting this up. And I want to. And I'm going to do it for me because I'm completing this challenge for myself, not for anybody else. It's for me. And this is just one example of where the imposter syndrome lies in my life because it is a part of everyday life. It is a part of my social anxiety when I talk to friends. It's a part of my family's perception of me and how I think that they see me. It is a part of my work ethic. It's a part of mm, when I go to the grocery store, when I post on Instagram, all of the social media platforms. Don't even get me started on that. So much to say. <laughs> it's just there's so much good and bad in the world and they're so meshed together that it's it's hard to figure out where your own lines are and where you stop and the rest of the world starts. Because most of the time the rest of the world doesn't even perceive you in the way that you think that they do. And even if they do see you in a poor lighting, it's, it's, it doesn't even matter because all that matters is the way that you see yourself. And that is the cure of imposter syndrome. That nothing else matters but your own impression of yourself. So if you're making yourself proud, if you're making yourself feel like your life is worth it and that your your efforts and your hardships are culminating in something good that you are proud of, that you want to be a part of, that's all that matters. It's it's so easy to get distracted in monetary, you know, value in in numbers, likes, comments, whatever. On all my platforms, I have struggled. I have struggled with that, and I'm not even an influencer. <laughs> I'm not. I I'm just a person, and it literally doesn't matter because as long as what you're putting out makes you happy, that's all that matters. Of course, you would like to see something come out of it, but I think that the best th the the best ways to make something good come out of something that you love is just to be yourself and to just keep pushing yourself to your own goals, your own limits, your own you know lines and not crossing them because once you cross it you lose yourself so that's my spiel <laughs> about my little journey that i had this day yesterday i guess uh today is the 16th today's the 16th um and the 15th was the day that i didn't post the video so that's why i just wanted to check in and talk about this because it, it's really important to me and I'm going to be making more videos like this. This is the first of hopefully many. And I hope that you felt something connection with me. And I 
could connect with you in a way because that's literally all I've ever wanted just to connect with somebody and help you feel comfort and in turn help me feel comfort in knowing that we are not alone in this and that a lot of people struggle with this type of thing daily <laughs> so yeah I literally don't know how to end this type of video if you learned something if you if you felt something with my little talk please make sure to comment down below anything anything I am open to whatever you're feeling and I hope that you can share you feel good enough to share with me of your own experiences and I hope you enjoyed this video enjoyed tough word but <laughs> enjoyed this video felt something learned something I hope it helped with some of your own growth. Please make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you all very very soon.